Hi, welcome to LiveGenic Video Tutorials. My name is Alex, and in this video, I will guide you through a LiveGenic portal to demonstrate its capabilities. The main page of the portal is the dashboard, so I'm going to need to log into our system, and you should see it in a second. So here we go. Dashboard provides a high-level overview of users' activities. This is the first page you see when you log in. Here you can see a list of my latest claims, high-level statistics overview such as new claims, demonstrations, as well as a monthly status roll-up. There's also a menu at the top uh, above the dashboard screen. Uh, the menu is a, uh, a, an easy way to access a list of uh, all kinds of information such as claims, demonstrations, organizations, customers. There's also filter capabilities inside so you can find the information you're looking for uh, in a convenient way. So you could also pull up a map of uh, different claims and uh, for administrators there's an additional menu item that is displayed. Administrators would see it. It is there for managing users on the account and be able to invite new people or maybe uh, disable existing accounts. The main form on the dashboard is there uh, to provide the ability to create a new file. So this form is intended for live video collaboration sessions with the uh, insured or contractors or uh, automotive collision shops for supplemental claims. Uh, but typically that's what it's used for. We'll, I will cover the workflow on how to use live video with a customer partner or a third party in the next video. But that's basically the purpose of this form. I, in this video segment, I'd like to zero in on the functionality of the portal, specifically uh, what is available inside of the claim file. So let's click on one of the claims on the list and I'll show you the rest. So the first thing you see in the claim file is the video and claims details information, such as customer contact. The rest of the information is organized in the tabs above the customer contact. So uh, let's start with the video. When the icon below the video is blue, the video is available for replay. Uh, red indicates live, and sometimes you have a gray icon which is not presently available. Clicking it replays the video that has been recorded. While the video is replaying, you can bookmark any segments that are important. So basically you just fast forward, maybe pause, but you don't really have to, and then click add bookmarks. Uh, these bookmarks become pictures that are generated from the video frames as well. So it's a convenient way to pull pictures out of the video on the fly. Uh, these are available in the details under the bookmarks tab and can be accessed and reviewed as desired. There can be many video segments added to the claims file. Uh, when more than uh, one video segment exists, it will be listed below. Each video segment has its own GPS coordinates associated with it, as long as the mobile apps that have been used to supply the stream have the GPS enabled. You can also find additional video segment details by clicking the information icon. On the right hand side of the details page you can see a map with all the GPS pins marked from all interactions associated with this claim. You can also change the owner of the claim to another person and change the status of the claim file from open to resolved or closed. The notes tab provides the ability to document anything uh, textual so it's located under its own tab. Uh, you can just type things in and click the add button and uh, uh, basically the notes get preserved. Uh, snapshots are pictures that are taken from the mobile app and transferred to the portal. Uh, they're higher quality because they are taken directly from the mobile device rather than from the video file that may be smaller in size. But basically th they are displayed right here. I'm sure you see there's additional functionality here on the screen that I haven't covered yet, like voice recording and sharing. It's a little bit more involved and I'm going to cover it in the following videos. But I hope you have enjoyed this video and until next time, take care.